The next item we will capture in the kitchen is the sink. Most common sink that is out there is a stainless steel sink, which can be kashered. However, uh, another common sink that's out there is porcelain, which cannot be kashered, when you have to put an insert in there for Pesach. The way of kashering the stainless steel sink is the sink cannot be used for 24 hours. Again, it must be perfectly clean. Once that process is done, you have a boiling pot of hot water ready to go. You go ahead, before you go to the sink, you make sure there's nothing in there. For example, the strainer, which has many little holes, must be taken out and replaced. The aerator, also due to the fact that it has many little holes in it, has to also be replaced. It cannot be kosher for Pesach. And again, the sink must be perfectly dry prior to the kosher. Once all that has been done, you go ahead and you take the hot water and take it and you start, never place it down. Even if you don't have a sufficient amount of water in one pot, you can go ahead and continue with the second pot. But the main issue is to make sure that it's a continuous flow and not to stop in the middle from that pot. You start from the bottom and then you work your way up, as you see here. You start from the bottom. And again, it's good for the sinuses here because it's, it'll clean everything. Then you go, you get the sides of the sink. And you make sure that everything is hit. And have a towel down also. And if you want to wear goggles for it so you don't get steamed up, you can, can do it. As you see, one pot was not sufficient. So we will take a second pot. And we will continue from where we left off. You go to the back, and you get the side so everything gets hit, get the handles, and the handles here, then you go on to the top of the nozzle, make sure you get that, and for this, you would just immerse it into here to make sure that it's all kosher. Once that process is done, your sink is ready for Pesach.